and Jamie's first foray in the Smith fell flat. So it's time to look outside the box. Cue the aerodynamicist to speak some geek. We need your help. We've got a story that's come up that we're testing right now. It is a question that is all over the fan sites. It's if you're driving with a truckload full of birds and they take flight inside your truck, is your truck actually lighter while they're flying around? That's actually a very often told physics urban legend. Can you tell us something about the mechanics of flight that, that would apply to this? I mean, we know birds flap their wings and there's lift involved, there's downward pressures. Uh, what's going on here that we need to be focusing on? Well, the basic premise of, premise of all flight, whether it be a helicopter or a plane or a bird flapping its wings or just even gliding, is that it takes air and deflects it downward and the downwards force on the air will in turn cause a reaction force upward that will help lift whatever the object is against the force of gravity. Wait, a helicopter and a bird are actually using the same physical principles to fly? Absolutely, it all comes down to Newton's laws. So let's get this straight. To get airborne, you push down on the air beneath you hard enough to lift your own weight. And because the principle works for birds and helicopters alike, Jamie and Adam have an idea, which means the pigeons get a break. Pigeons are what the myth is about, but pigeons sometimes don't do exactly what you want them to do. So we figure that a uh, similar sort of a thing that might show the same phenomenon, if there is one, would be a little helicopter that we can control. But it's not as simple as that. Flying a chopper in an enclosed space creates turbulence, making it hard to hover. So to run the bench test, Adams built this rig, which will allow it to lift, but keep it centrally tethered at the same time. Excellent, 52.0, 52.6. Adam has measured the weight difference of the container with and without the chopper. Now the question is, when the helicopter takes off, will the chamber get lighter? changing. 52.6, 52.6. Dude, that's liftoff. I so did not expect this rig to work. All right. <laughs> In a break from Mythbuster tradition, Adam has success with a scale test. I know that my helicopter weighs six tenths of a pound. So if the myth was true, I should have seen that meter go from 52.5 or six to 52 flat. But that's not the whole story. This myth is about birds and trust Jamie to get straight to the heart of the problem. We gotta try it in a truck or something close to it with the birds. So it's full scale ahead. And after a Mythbuster makeover, this trailer, standing in for the truck and the myth, will be full of flying birds for the final test weigh-in. That's cool. You look like a little uh, animal in a circus game. <laughs> <laughs> with the front fitted with clear plastic, Jess and Jamie are done. And it's time for a flight test. There are no scales yet, so this test is simply to confirm the birds are comfortable spreading their wings. If they don't, Adam and Jamie are back to square one. Hey! But it's immediately obvious there's plenty of room. So, final prep on the big rig begins. The flight motivators go in first. These rotating foam tubes are supposed to keep the pigeons in the air. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. We have liftoff. Next, the team makes sure there are no nooks or crannies where the pigeons can land and take a rest. It works for Mythbusters. <laughs> but how about the pigeons? You ready? ready? I have no idea what's going to okay. happen here. So Adam and Jamie have finally got Jackson and friend to fly in an enclosed space. <laughs> now comes the tricky bit, catching a flock more birds, letting them loose in the trailer and accurately wing. 